My name is Jeroen Ridder and I'm an associate professor in bioinformatics at the UMC Utrecht and an oncode investigator. We study CNS tumors, so those are tumors in the brain and the spinal cord. The first line treatment for CNS tumors is surgery, so that means resecting the tumor as best as possible. But there are more than 80 different tumor subtypes, each with their own optimal surgical strategy. Some require an aggressive surgery, removing as many tumor cells as possible, but at the cost of an increased risk of severe side effects. Other subtypes can do with a more conservative approach, but with an increased risk that the tumor recurs. So the surgeon has to make an incredibly difficult decision based on very limited information because during the surgery the tumor subtype is unclear. The tumor subtype can however be determined using DNA analysis, but this takes two weeks. What we did is use these kinds of devices, these are DNA sequencing devices that allow us to determine the tumor subtype already during the surgery. So to achieve this, we developed an artificial intelligence algorithm that is able to make a very accurate classification of the tumor subtype based on limited data that can be obtained during the surgery. So basically, on the DNA of the tumor, there are particular sites on the DNA that are very informative, and we try to measure them during the sequencing. Now, there are a lot of these sites that are very informative, but we can only measure a few of them. It's like taking a picture. If you want to see if there's a cat or not in a picture, you can take a, a picture of the whole cat the problem with that is that in a real case, this would take two weeks to, to be done. And in our case, we don't have two weeks during the surgery. So what we do is we just take a few of the pixels of, of that picture, and then whatever the pixels we get, we can classify that the tumor uh, sample. So once we have identified the tumor subtype, the surgeon can adapt the surgical strategy, uh, either go very aggressive or be more conservative, uh, depending on the, the tumor subtype. As a member of the Oncode Institute, our lab has a lot of flexibility because of Oncode's unrestricted funding. So when our colleagues from the Princess Maxima Center contacted us with this problem, we immediately started brainstorming about a solution and I quickly found a PhD student and a postdoc in the lab that were eager to help out and create a proof of concept solution. In addition, Oncode offers a technology development fund that allows you to take the next step. So within one or two months, we got access to this fund, which allowed us to scale up this project and generate all the data and results necessary to demonstrate that our approach really works in clinical practice. In the meantime, we have performed our approach on several real clinical cases and have shown that we are able to deliver accurate diagnosis already during the surgery, giving the surgeon a much better chance to select the best treatment strategy. The results are so promising that we are now working hard to integrate our technology into the routine clinical care. Of course, we will first need to perform further validation in an even larger patient cohort to make this happen. And together with the Maxima Center, we are preparing to do these validations.